We're now going to look at Kramer's rule. But to do this, I first want to look at a generalized system of two equations. So normally we would have something along the lines of 2x minus 3y equals 10 and maybe x plus 6y equals 20. But we're going to generalize this and leave all the coefficients as variables. a, b, c, d, and then e, f. Well, let's say that I wanted to solve for x by eliminating this variable y. The way I would do that is to make the coefficients on y the same. So I would take d times equation 1 to give me a dx plus b dy equals de. I then would take negative b times equation 2 to give me negative bcx minus b dy equals negative bf. I can add these two equations together. My y values cancel because they have opposite coefficients. I end up with a dx minus b c x equals d e minus b f. A little bit of factoring because remember I want to solve for x. Gives me x times a d minus b c equals d e minus b f x equals de minus bf all over ad minus bc. We could go through a similar process for y. If you want to, you're more than welcome to do that on your own. And we would do that just by making the x coefficients the same. What we end up with is that x equals ed minus bf, or, or de minus bf, all over ad minus bc and y equals af minus ce all over ad minus bc. These values, this numerator and denominator, mean something. But to figure out what they mean, we need to look at our augmented matrix. Let's look at the augmented matrix for this system of equations. So remember, our equations were ax plus by equals e, and cx plus dy equals f. Then the augmented matrix is a, c, b, d, e, f. Hopefully what you're noticing is that the denominator for x and y above are the same. And in fact, they're the value of the determinant of the matrix A, B, C, D, which is our main part of our augmented matrix here. And we would say that the determinant of the matrix is A, D minus B, C. There's also a way for to solve for the determinant of the matrix with respect to X and the determinant of the matrix with respect to Y. The way we solve for the determinant of the matrix with respect to x is we take out, so we have three columns here. We have x, y, and solutions. If it's with respect to x, we take out the x column and we put the solutions column in its place. So instead, we're going to find the determinant of E, B, F, D, which in this case equals E, D minus B, F. Similarly, if we're solving for the determinant with respect to y, what we want to do is take out our y column, put solutions in its place. So we're solving for the determinant of the matrix e A, E, C, F, which if we go through is going to be A, F minus C, E. Well, notice above, A, F minus C, E is the numerator of solving for y, and ED minus BF is the numerator of solving for X. So what Kramer's rule tells us is that we can solve for X by finding the determinant with respect to X over the determinant, and we can solve for Y by finding the determinant with respect to Y over the determinant in general. And let's give an example to give a context.